Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, listen, uh, recently I had a, a kind of a challenge on the Sketchycation forums about uh, about uh, removing bevels. And the reason why is that uh, a lot of times you'll have a model uh, and you want to actually uh, make it a lower polygon version of it for a game or something like that. So uh, this, is a, this is a low poly model. Let me go ahead and show you one of the things that uh, JQL came up with, which I think was a pretty cool, cool solution. Um, so uh, let's just go ahead and I'm going to take and fill out some of these things real quick because this is even more than beveling, it's fill, filleting. Uh, so I'll go in and use uh, Fredo's Round Corners tools. And we've got like five segments here. Let's see. Oops. Let's see what they look like. And then I'll, I'm going to grab. Notice that when I, when I click these little three dots here, these little green dots, that means that we're not going to get a good a good fillet. So I got to actually go a little smaller. You always go bigger to smaller in fillet. So let's do 30 uh, and that'll work for us. Okay. And let's just, I'm going to just add a few more as we go. Let's add this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You know, just, I'm just going to add a few fillets. So I think there we go. So let's go ahead and hit return and we'll see. That's our object. If I look at this, in a uh, this is a uh, image occlusion mode. You'll see that's that would be kind of what we're working with. Actually, we didn't we missed this spot of the spot over here, didn't we? Let's do this. Yeah. So let's. All right. Here we have it. Okay, got that now. So let's look at this ambient occlusion mode. You'll see looks pretty good. So, okay. So one thing I'll mention I'll mention that when I'm when I'm really editing stuff, I really want to use. I have a different version of this that I use uh, set it up as a, as a scene here but I like seeing these little vertices it's important for me to be able to see those so uh, so uh, let's just go ahead uh, first thing we want to do is we're going to remove all this stuff right so I'm gonna click on here delete it and delete it and these are my base planes now I need to actually extend these out so uh, first I'm gonna just go ahead and grab a, a few of these little let's see, any, any of them those are best probably the only ones just hanging out there. So I'll just grab a little bit. I don't need all of them. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get uh, some of these corners fixed. So I'll use the line tool, grab, hold, shift key down there. And then I just use the E key and just delete one of those. I don't need to delete them all. I'll use a tool to fix that in a little bit. Uh, again, take this, shift key up to here, and then take uh, this. And we can go, we're going to go directly on the, on the uh, extend edge mode here to here, E and E. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up now while I do the rest of this and I'll speed forward. Okay, so now you can see that uh, I've got uh, everything. There's no round corners anywhere, but you notice there's a lot of stray edges. So if I just select everything and right click and I have this little fix it, fix it will actually, it's going to remove all the stray edges. So now we're, we're pretty good. So now the next thing we do is we're going to use this pretty cool plugin called ex Extension Trim Faces. I've mapped it to Shift E. So I'm going to hit that and uh, uh, and it works really simply. All you do is you click a line, and then if you click a face, it's just going to move that line out. See, it moved it out parallel to that perpendicular face, but that's really what we'd rather do is get it so they trim to each other. So let's do this again. I'm going to go to the extensions, uh, trim face, or extend trim faces, and I'll go and I'll click on this line, and I'll click on this line, and now look, they magically match up. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to hit you shift E. I, I'm, I'm mapping to shift E. Click on this line and this line, and they match up. Isn't that cool? So I can just walk around this whole area right here. I'm going to, I'm going to, this one, this one looks like it's not quite straight because I think, uh, so I have to fix that in a little bit, but I'm going to basically all the straight ones, I'm going to go ahead and, and fix right away. So I'll get that here, 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 here. So you can see how this works. Even when you think that you might have some problems, they seem they seem to get, you know, seems to fig figure it out. So it's a uh, it's pretty cool. Once you once you once you're in the mode, you don't have to keep hitting the 
the the shift command key you can just keep going as you go just click 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 so that's kind of a cool thing too so i'm gonna go here and here actually here and there here and there there and there so you can kind of see how how easy this works now this this will be fine here but i want to show you how we're going to fix this other piece okay so if i click here and here i'm going to get this weird thing because of the fillet across there that i deleted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this line straight so i've got if i look at this it's pretty clear to me that one of those lines is skewed and it's this one right here so i'm going to just take this pull it out over here hit the e button delete that and delete that and now i'm going to go back into extend trim faces click here and here and there we have it now you will notice that there might be a little area right here if i go to my vertex tools and do that it says one vertice selected but if i if i go into wireframe mode i think i've got more than that uh, if i hit yeah it seemed it did something now, even it said one vertice selected it did fix it so uh, it looks like there's one here too go right in here merge that Oops. that didn't work uh e. let's just try and see if i just delete that nope that won't work i'll uh, just hold t alt snap that in place so anyway so it's a pretty cool tool uh let's see if i can get rid of this one here there we go I'm not sure, but it seems like we've got more than one here. But even even so, I can probably just right click and say fix it. This is four edges removed, repaired thing. So looks like I got it. So the fix it fix it tool works. So pretty cool. I thought that was a pretty neat uh, a neat uh, example and something that I'm certainly going to find valuable. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks. Bye.